Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now in this video I want to show you how to add a content switcher just like this to your Elementor or WordPress website for free. Now the way this content switcher works is that you can switch between two different kinds of content. For example here we are looking at our price menu and here our clients when they switch over here they can locate us. Now this can be different kind of content that you link up here in your content switcher. You can switch different things like here you can show gold sponsors here you can show silver sponsors when someone switches and here you can show pricing plans you can show monthly plans still based on the content switcher and here you can switch between different image versions that you created for your website now to get started we are going to go right into our plugin section and we are going to add a new plugin called htmega add-ons for elementor by simply coming here to plugins add new plugin and here we'll search for a plugin called HT Mega Addons. Once it shows up right here, you simply install and activate. I have it already activated and it shows up right here in the left hand side menu. Once you click over here on this menu item, you simply have the chance to see the elements that are available in the HT Mega Addons. Now you have to make sure that the content switcher is enabled and it is around here. It is the one right here, which is the switcher. So once you have it enabled, it should be in blue. It means that it is enabled. Now simply hit save changes. And of course you can create a couple of other amazing sections using the HT Mega add-ons for Elementor. And those sections can be from accordions, animated headings, buttons, call to actions, double button, image grid, image magnifier, and a lot more. But in this case, we simply want to use a switcher element. Now, once you have your switcher element activated, you'll simply open up any page or section that you want to add your switcher element. So in this case, I have my page here opened up, which is my about page. And basically here, I want to add this kind of switcher. So what I'm going to do is to create here a new section. And I'm going to come here to the widgets area. And then I'm going to search for switcher. And once it shows up right here, it should have the HT logo there. And I drag it over here to my section. Now, the beauty is that we have two options. We can use our switcher to add or to echo custom content. For example, text I can show right here. I'll be in position to showcase that dummy content right here in my switcher. Okay, now when someone switches to the other section, now let me go to the other section and I also add dummy content over there. Now I can switch over different content on this website. Now the other thing I can do is to rename our switcher buttons. So how do you do that? Simply come over here to switcher one and then you say demo one and then the second switcher we're going to name it demo two. Okay, now I have two switchers, demo one and demo two. But in this tutorial, we're not going to use the custom switcher. We are going to use a switcher whereby we echo content from our templates of Elementor. And this is one of the powerful options that we have with HT Mega add-ons. You can echo content from a specific Elementor template that you created. Now, I already have Elementor templates that have been created. And if you don't know how to create templates using Elementor for free, I'm going to link a video up here in the card or in a description box below so that you can learn how to get free templates using Elementor. And in this case, here are my save templates. By coming over here to Elementor under save templates, I can show you my templates right here. So I'll simply show you view and then I also show you the pricing menu here. These are the two templates and this one here that I'm going to echo in my switcher. So I'll close this over. And now when I come over here to my page, I'm going to change my switcher one and I'm going to switch and I'm going to name it to pricing menu. And then I'm going to rename my switcher two. I'm going to name it find us. Okay. Now when I come back to my switcher menu, I come here to the select source content. I'm going to select Elementor template and right here under, under Elementor template, I'll have the option to choose the pricing menu template that I have already created. The same I'm going to do for the switcher to come here to the select content source, select Elementor template and under here content, I'm going to choose the map page. Okay, now I can simply hit update. And once I hit update, now you realize that on our preview page, we are going to have two similar sections. Of course, the section that I showed you at the start of the tutorial and the section that we have just created, which is the one right here we have the first one which I showed you and then the second one 
we have just created now we can still switch between our content using the content switcher now this is massive and it's an exciting way to showcase content now this like i said can be anything it can be like you're showing pricing for the yearly pricing here and maybe here you're showing the one all the lifetime pricing now how do we make changes to our switcher buttons here we simply come back to our elementor editor come here to our switcher come to style and then you come here to the switcher button and right here we can make changes to the active and the non-active section for example when i come here to the background of the switcher button i'm going to simply come over here and i can change the background of the non-active button so i can say i want to make it something like this and i'm going to change the text color to white now i have my text color switched to white now i'm going to go over down here and i'm going to change the settings for the active one and here i will simply change the background type to a color that i want in this case i'll use a small green or something like this and boom now i have made changes to our background colors for our content switcher and you can even make a lot more other customizations for example you can use like a gradient you can choose an image to use within your content switcher you can you can add a border type to your content switcher and a lot more but of course i don't want us to do anything like that and also we can make changes to our content color and typography that is in case you use the custom option but in this case if we make changes to our typography nothing will change because we simply echoed an elementor template that we are using right here in our content switcher now once you are done making changes to your page or specifically to the content switcher simply hit update and those changes will reflect on your preview page or on your final page where you want to display a content switcher and now by scrolling down here you realize that now we have our content switcher updated including the buttons and here you are good to go by someone looking at your pricing menu right here they are in position to make informed decisions and even contact you once they switch to the other content now we can even delete the other section that we don't need over here and then now here we simply update and now we have our beautiful about page and we have our content switcher right here. Congratulations on creating your first content switcher using Elementor for free. So in case you have any questions, comments about this specific video tutorial, please let me know in the comment box below. And in case you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.